going for a nice day out in Cornwall. And from where I live, uh, you have to go across a river into Cornwall. And that's what I'm doing right now. reason for my little trip to uh, to Cornwall is to come here. It's an old boat yard where old boats go to die. Heaven. Oh, puss. <laughs> What's up, pussy? Yeah. I gotta go look at some boats. See you later. I love places like this because I like boats and I like history. I've been doing a bit of uh, research lately on motor torpedo boats in the Second World War. And there's one group of boats called uh, Fair Mile B. Well, it's called Fair Mile, it's the company. Fair Mile B is the boat. And uh, there's only about four left. I think there's some in, in Canada or somewhere, but only four in, in the UK. And uh, there were some that were called Western Lady. One, Western Lady Two, Western Lady Four, Three that were worked as pleasure boats in Dartmouth, I think it was, or no, Torquay, Tor Bay, someone. And uh, they were sold off when the company went out of business and I just walked in here and here she is. This is Western Lady 4, uh, formerly ML526 gunboat, motor launch gunboat, as you will, similar to a motor, motor torpedo boat. Um, she's humongous, I didn't realize these boats were so big. It's what they call double diagonal built. There's wood goes one way, then there's another layer of wood goes the other way. It makes them immensely strong, but very difficult to repair. And this boat is, what, 70 years old now. Uh, built in sometime in the early 40s, I believe. So, yeah. But it's a big piece of very important history. See, I love this place. My friends think it's scum. <laughs> but it's full of character. A lot of people living on boats here. Poor people like me. So I feel a certain empathy for them. It's great. There's only one drawback in this. You have to momentarily be rich to afford to buy a boat to live on to become poor. There again, once you bought your boat, I suppose you would become poor, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's go find a boat. Hello, booty cat. Hello, Barry. Did you solve the problem about not having any money to buy a boat? Um, no, I didn't. Actually, do you have any solutions? No, I don't. Oh, never mind then. Oh, but you can stroke me. <laughs> Got to go home now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.